Hi, I'm Kimberly Hess, the director at Lakeside Nature Center with Kansas City Parks and Rec. And right around February 6th, we got a call from Kansas City Animal Control that they were bringing in a red-tailed hawk who had recently flown through the window of a gentleman's bedroom, of all things. And uh, the officer brought the hawk in and we did an assessment on her. It's a pretty big female. And she had lacerations on her legs and quite a few broken feathers. So uh, I went out there to the house and uh, sure enough, the, the bedroom was, was destroyed. There was stuff everywhere. There was glass everywhere. And uh, there was a red-tailed hawk laying on the ground. It seemed stunned and, and confused at the time. Um, put my gloves on, picked it up, did a, a brief exam to check for damage. I wasn't real sure if it was going to be releasable or if there was something wrong with it. And that's when I found that the tail feathers were actually broken. So loaded it up and transported it to the folks at Lakeside Nature Center. Um, let's see, I've been in animal control, animal welfare about eight years. This is the first time I've ever heard of a hawk going through a window. I've worked with plenty of birds that have bounced off windows, but never one that went all the way through it. So in that sense, this was a fairly unique case. What we did is uh, we bandaged the legs and we started her on antibiotics and uh, things like that and she's actually doing very, very well. The nice thing with animal control is uh, we work with them in a partnership, the two departments, and we get at least one call a day from them that they were going to bring in um, a wild animal. Now we take in all the wild animals such as raccoons, uh, birds of prey, possums, rabbits, things like that, anything that is native to Missouri and working with animal control is a really great asset for not only us and the animals but for the public because sometimes when these animals are injured uh, they become frightened and it's sometimes hard for people to uh, collect them up and bring them to lakeside to be treated especially if you're talking an adult female red-tailed hawk they, they have sharp talons so animal control does go to these calls uh, the citizens can call them and they go and they collect the animals and they do a fantastic job keeping the animals safe, bringing them to us for treatment and keeping the public safe. So it's, it's a really nice partnership that we have with Kansas City Animal Control and Parks and Rec. The department is called Animal Health and Public Safety. It's not dog health and public safety or cat health and public safety. We're responsible for the care um, and, and of all wildlife and native animals uh, in, in Kansas City. So whenever we pick up any sort of native wildlife, uh, skunks, bats, possums, uh, geese, ducks, um, anything that you might find out in the wild um, that's injured or orphaned, we transport it to the folks here at Lakeside Nature Center so that they can uh, rehabilitate and release it. Uh, an update on the red-tailed hawk. Uh, she did really well. She was a little bit aggressive, so she was a bit of a challenge for us here at the center, but the lacerations on her legs have healed and there's no infection, so we've put her in our flight pens. And from there, she's gonna start exercising and building her muscles back up to be re-released in the wild. Now, the one thing we do have to do, since she had so many broken primary feathers, and those are the feathers she uses to fly with, we're going to do to her what's called imping. And imping is a process where we will take feathers and actually attach them to the broken feathers, kind of like a feather prosthetics. And with imping the feathers, this allows us to release her into the wild much, much sooner than letting her feathers fall out here and grow back. That would take months. So now we're talking maybe just a week or two and she'll be out flying free again. And that is what we are looking forward to here at Lakeside.